Hey gang, it's Delta here from DeltiasGaming.com here in the Imperial sewers getting ready to go up into Arena. Don't ask why I'm naked. I have no idea. I don't want to clip clothes today. One of them days. Anyways, I wanted to bring you a quick video showing you the two new sets you can get from Imperial Sewers and White Gold Tower. They're extremely rare. You can get the shoulders through the Undaunted Gold Keys, start saving them up, and the helms only from the last boss drop. So let me show you what these look like, explain the context, and maybe we can give Zaz feedback because I don't think they're very good. Here's why. So as you can see, this is the Lord Warner Dusk Epaulette, basically the shoulder. The two-piece set provides a 6% chance on getting hit to spawn this cool blue orb thing that you can stand in for massive amount of spell resistance. The problem I have with this isn't that it's only 6%, isn't that it's only a little blue orb, it's that it's not armor as well. I think this would be an awesome set for a tank to use if it was armor as well. Just having spell resistance I don't think is enough to make me change from Engine Guardian. While for specific bosses that use spell resistance this might be great in a Trials or something else, but if you added the armor to it as well, Zoss talking to you, this would be a must have in a group. Think about PvP, going into a breach, you're gonna get hit spawning this orb, stack them and whack them, ripping and grip them. This would be awesome. The visual effect is utterly amazing. I really think it needs armor though. So not enough for me to change from Engine Guardian to this as a tank, but I think we're really close to come getting to something good. So if you're like me and believe this could be changed, please leave Zoss feedback. Now the visual effects, spectacular. Let's move on to the second one. Bolag Keenans. When you initially read this, it sounds interesting. 123 weapon damage. The problem is that it must be three consecutive light attacks to trigger this huge boost in spell and weapon damage. So it's not a light attack ability, light attack ability, light attack ability. It's literally one, two, three. So doing some testing on this, Fear Turbo got this, so thank you for showing us this. It doesn't seem like it's a DPS increase. In fact, on almost all the tests, it's a DPS loss and a significant one because you have to sit there and light attack three times, not weaving in abilities. So basically, you have to, it charges, once you get that little blue beam around your hands, the abilities that you use thereafter for six seconds, guess what? They cost 50% more as well. So it's a resource hog, it isn't that good, and it takes your time on target lower just doing light attacks over and over. So for this thing to be really valuable, one, it either needs to be like three light attacks within 10 seconds, or if you do trigger an overload like that during, uh, overkill I mean, during a boss phase, it needs to be like 10, 12, 15 seconds. And I think that set would be really, really cool. But the way it is right now, I don't think it's that valuable. So what do we need to do? I'm gonna post this on the ESO forums along with my feedback for them. They have listened, trust me, they are already talking about changing the champion points, so they do listen to us. If you agree or don't agree, please leave your feedback because these helms are really, really hard to get and I want them to be worthwhile. We want them to be worthwhile where every DPS wants to seek this out, every tank or every healer, and I just don't think it's there. Thank you for watching more Imperial City information, late breaking news and builds. I'm just about done figuring out tanking and stamina DPS on my Dragon Knight. Is the bloody butcher back? He's back.